All right, how's it going? I hope everybody's excited about the tournament starting tomorrow. Uh, we'll be making, a, I guess, a few videos showing our attempts at that. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, we have our seasonal run to be working on. So we're going to go ahead and move on into Paradise Lost in Season 3, Cycle 3. Let's get it done. Alright, so we're sitting on 850k. Pretty good amount of gold. At this point it doesn't matter. Looks like we're on full health. Full Wrath of God. Really good that we have a Tempest. We are empty on Cataclysm and I only have a Cataclysm 3. And we have our Ball of Lightning 3. So we're in pretty decent shape. This is a, not a horribly difficult zone to enter, but I do like to fire off a, a Wrath of God to clear out the uh, Cupids there, or as many of them as I can. I was waiting to see where that one was going to fire. Kind of keeping an eye out for him. Stagger her. Uh, if Lyman sighted him so we can finish her off. Uh, he moved. Okay, good. So, just gotta kind of do a little bit of jigging back and forth to... You know, the columns aren't really an impediment to you. You can use them to line of sight things so that they can't hit you as well. So, use it as a little bit of a shield. So we're... Hi. We're just gonna take out that guy too. Alright, so we're going to look through all the way... Oh, hi, there's a witch that just spotted us, so... She was in here. I'm just going to go ahead... I'm just going to go ahead and handle all the stuff that's in here since she was out there firing at us. I had to jump in from that little entranceway because uh, I had a Cupid right there targeting me. A little bit of bait and wait. There we go. Now, what I was going to say is what I would normally have done was sat here because nothing was attacking me there. And, uh, fired off and picked off those guys over there. Now, this witch has come from nowhere. Just going to burn her down really quickly. Okay. Now, I was going to say, I was, normally I would sit here and fire through the doorway and pick all those guys off over there, and then I would enter here and take those guys out, but six one half dozen the other. We've got a couple of knights here. Okay. So from here I always go onto this balcony right here because it's a safe space. Nothing can hit us from here. That's all cleared out. So... We can use this to kind of go back and forth. Now, often there's a knight right there. So you got to kind of just pay attention. And again, waiting and baiting is uh, it's a good practice. Unless you could pick those little suckers off, which occasionally I can. Alright, we've got a witch up there. There's going to be stuff upstairs here too we're going to have to worry about. So, oh, something something way over there is firing at me. So, so as, as I think we know, once you get up there there's all kind of cupids. So, if they want to come over here and play, let's play. But there's no way I'm going to shoot them from over here. I will keep an eye out. Once I move it'll cease to be an issue. So we're going to go across, and when we go across, there's going to be stuff back above us that we're going to have to focus on. Oh, let's go ahead and take out this red knight, too. We might have a little bit of fun with him falling off. Nope, killed him instead. 
So I'm going to jump up there and I'm going to go all the way to the back of that space. Because I want to be able to, because my, right now my only enemies are over there. And I want to be able to make sure that I've got my back to a wall in a corner so that I don't have to worry about things coming at me from the flanks. I'm going to take out that cupid there. In theory. Oftentimes there's a witch up there. She may have come down to... Oh, he's gone. All right, we're going to go on upstairs here. I knew he was there because I got, something was shooting at me. I, I knew there was a knight throwing at me, so I wanted to move here. Get the cupid first. Try to keep your eye to peel to the left, because that's where all those other arrows were coming from, right? Kind of be aware. Whoa! <laughs> Good thing I looked back. So I'm going to kind of fire off a mess of arrows here. I'm going to try to get that cupid, and then we'll take care of the witch. Okay. Now the next place, there's a whole bunch of cupids over there usually, and we have to go up there, and there's a whole bunch of cupids there. What I like to do is head for that balcony, because I can sit there. There's nothing behind over here, and I can get up on that balcony, and then I can use that as a shield, that whole tower. Now there's always the one there. We take him out and look, totally free and clear. Now, anything, th there will be things that will come to us. We just have to keep our head on a swivel. Then we just sort of peek out. You want the cupids first. I just had one show up, but uh, I had to I had to move quickly. That's good. As long as they keep coming. I'll take this witch out. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. And then we'll take out this night here. That is, is that a quiver? That would be awesome if that was a quiver. Because I do need my cataclysms. Alright, so we're going to go on up. Whoop. Another one of these just spawned. Just take a quick shot at him just to see if I could get him. Okay, that is a quiver. Hi. Uh, I was going to say I could use my cataclysms, but uh, my cataclysms are empty. I'm going to pick that, keep it off there. Alright. Well, theoretically, I have everything I need to beat Gabriel at this point. So let's go on, move along. Of course, we're doing our best to take no damage. Hi. Now, there's often cupids and all kind of other nasty things on the other platform over there. So we can see a few of these, and we have a nice angle to defend ourselves here. We can actually shut off that hole that whole walkway and we can also do that in there but if you're in there the stuff that's on the other side are firing down the hallway so we don't we want to try to avoid that I think we're good for the moment let's go on in oh, another quiver that may prompt me to use up my tempest so I'll have a full tempest going into Gabriel Use up our tempests. Only there's much more stuff over there. My big interest is killing all the orphans right now. Not the orphans, the cupids. Because the witches will come to us. We just get, make them take turns with uh, taking a few headshots to finish them off. So, all we have really is that hallway over there, but there's going to be some. I'm kind of stuck on that wall there. It's fortunate to get off of it. Ah, okay, there's a cupid there. Oftentimes, there's more than just that, though, so we're going to go across. Okay, so 
person. A witch. So she was over there around that corner too with the cupid. And like I said, oftentimes there's uh, several things to deal with. Okay, let's go back. Let's fire all of our tempests down the hallway and see what happens. <coughs> shape. She has chosen to ignore us, which is fine. Put one of those in her eye, finish that up. What I tend to do is come out here and I go up top. What's that? There's a blood up there. All right. Interesting. And there we go. There's zone number one. Let's see what we got in the store here for us. Mainly we're seeing what we have so that we can use that for planning purposes. So we've got a Tempest, another Cataclysm 3. So we can use all of our Tempest and Cataclysm 3s prior to finishing this next zone. So that's nice to have a, a little bit of firepower that we know we can expend. This is a particularly interesting uh, entrance. You see there's tons of mobs down there. Um, I'm not going to be stingy. I don't want anything to do with them. So, three Wrath of Gods and something, and a quiver. Hey, look at that. Uh, something just went by my ear the other way, so. You have to be uh, alert and aware. Okay, so I have nine more. Nine more um, Wraths of God I can use. Now I'm going to pop up here really quickly. Oftentimes there's a bunch of stuff. But I want him to keep my eye out for that guy to see if he shoots at me. And he didn't. Right, so we took him out. Got him moving in here. Got to have a shield ready just in case. And we're going to have a red knight coming. Right. Sometimes oh, things are still approaching. Keep your eyes peeled. So I have a keeper over there that I want. I heard something drawing a bow, that would be him. If I take a hit, I could think I could get a hit from that that guy. Well, that's a shame. I did not have to shoot him, I was just doing some target practice, and I think I had a blood down here, didn't I? No, that was my quiver. But I think I had a blood, too. Um, I don't want to get in a shooting match with him. But I think I got some folks' attention, which is fine. All that does is... All it does is make it easier on me that I don't have to pick those guys off of the uh, the crosswalk up there. All right, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna use my Wrath of God a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back and it's really after Cupid's with this. that happens when you do that is you get the attention of a lot of things. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, as long as you're in a safe place, which we are. Alright. One more Wrath of God. Oh, that was wasted. We'll just refill that. All right, so now we're going to actually do our our normal work through here. Hi. Right. 
Cataclysm 5. How interesting. We're definitely going to pick that up here in a minute. In the meantime, we have Cataclysm 3 to burn. Which is always fun. So basically, I'm walking around looking for things to use my Cataclysm 3 on. Now. That platform up there is a big wide open area that often has lots of things. So I'm going to jump up there and I'm going to fire off a bunch of Cataclysm 3s. Should make this very fun. I'm just going to kind of hide behind the corner here. <laughs> Good times. Oh, hi. There's also a couple of Couple of cupids kind of incoming, so just keep your eyes peeled. All right, how many? Uh, six more cat three. So let's go over here. I'm fire them down that tunnel there. Just listening, just in case that cupid fired. Pick up our cat five. I think he was right down here, right? Where was it? <laughs> Don't know. certainly need our cat five, otherwise I just wasted all my cat threes for nothing. I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. Make sure you put it in the right slot. That's always really super disappointing when you burn a slot by doing that. We're going to go in here and work our way down this tunnel. Just kind of peek around looking for cupids. We're going to go up here and work our way back around. Most of this should be clear. So keep it up there. Let's see if we can pick him off. Look at that. And one over there. Alright, let's go around, work our way back around this way. I want to go across and down this tunnel. My phone's ringing. And we're back. That was my pharmacy. They've been harassing me because I have a refill due in like a week. But they want me to do it now because they want my money now. Alright, there's a Cupid. We're gonna go up and around. Oh, keep it up there. Gotta keep your head on a swivel. Also got one there. That was tough. Alright, got you. Got another one over there. Oop, one there. That's 
That's where I think they added like 50% more cupids after th for this season. So I did see some cupids in a red night. I just kind of caught out of the corner of my eye as I was taking out those witches. Okay, got one cupid. We'll get this. No oh, an archer. We'll take him out. Well, oh, incursion. Is that an incursion. Yeah, that would be good if I was on Anakin, but I'm not. Alright, let's take a peek around. There is our last bell tower. Alright, no, we don't need incursions, we're good. So it looks like we are um, on our last stuff here, so we're going to jump up there. I do see a, an archer, a monk, and there should be a cupid as well. I'm hearing something drawing back a bow, so I want to... And we've got a witch over there. Let's go ahead and take her down. While we have all this nice masonry here to protect us. Alright, she's done. Now, I like to come to the side because if, if you, sometimes if you shoot, you come all the way to here and then you could be in trouble. Ah, hi. Alright, so here we are. I don't think we've taken any damage, which is good. Uh, got all the arrows we need. Run over here to the store just to see if there's any ooh, see if there's anything we want. I am disappointed we didn't have any uh we need Tempest. I'm not gonna give spend that much money for one. Don't need any health, don't need don't need anything. Did not have any orphans in those zones. Kind of disappointing. Alright, well let's uh finish this off. So Gabriel's going to come down. Um, I'm going to drop a few uh, lightning balls around him. I don't have to. And then I'm going to load him up with cataclysms. And then we will finish him off with tempests. Should be about 10 seconds. Okay, we're flying off. Grab Tempest. Ooh. And there we have it. There's another Wrath of God. Winner's Bite. Uh, tempted to take that Wrath of God. Sure am. What would I, what would I give up? Tempest or Lightning? gonna go with what I got. That's such such a sad thing to have to bypass. I kinda as we're getting to the more advanced levels you kinda want to keep your diversity of arrows so, so uh, it's tempting but I just can't do it. And there we have it though. Paradise Lost 3. Pretty easy run. Wish we'd had some cupids to help bump up our score. Speaking of scores people often ask me what my ending score was for and I don't tend to check. So we have 914k. That's our ending score for this zone. All right. It's kind of a low scoring run. I've mentioned that before compared to my uh, run, you know, my fun run I just did. Uh, I, I had quite a bit more scoring involved. So not really, not really thrilled about the way this run is going scoring wise, but uh, it's about progression for you guys and giving you insight into how I handle the zones. So there you go. Paradise Lost 3, Season 3, it's in the books. We'll see you next time.